This one's called, I Think You Said. Yesterday I had an interesting phone interaction. Many of you may relate. I called an airlines and made the mistake of conversing with the recorded robot operator. <laughs> it went a little something like this. Hi, this is Anne, your virtual travel assistant. Agent. First, I think you said you'd like to speak to a representative. Is that right? Yes, agent. I'm sorry, I didn't get that. Did you say travel? <laughs> Okay, what the hell? Yes, travel. That's travel to Helsinki, Finland. <laughs> and that airport is H-E-L, is that right? You cannot be serious. I think you said connect me to Sirius Satellite Radio. Is that right? Anne, yo Anne, you're a moron. Your mother was a moron. All right, Sirius Morning Show. <laughs> Now, while you wait, listen to this important message from our sponsor. Hi, Jim here from calmyourassdown.com. Are you tired of the rat race? Do you experience long bouts of frustration and depression? Did you ever wish the world would just go away? Are you tired of working with no benefits, a family that expects you Yo, to Jim, run a taxi service You are service so stupid no that I bet you go to the dentist for a Are you too pitiful? I just wanted to work with for Christmas. Living a life of depravity Is that too much to ask? To reach Am an I agent, freeze star? star. Thanks for pressing the star key. Oh Hi there, this is Anne. Thanks for connecting Anne. to calmyourassdown.com. You're back, you old hooker. How are you? <laughs> life is hard. And with the economy these days, hey, it's understandable that you need a little brother to take the edge of because he's hooked on phonics. Something to make the world less difficult. You reach an all-time low. Pill pushing and really. Is that a little bit? Have a solution. And don't Just even pretend you care about my financial situation. Take care of it. And then bringing into the nation's economy. I'm sorry, I didn't quite get that. You said you wanted economy travel. Will that be within the continental United States? Oh my god, and you are pushing pills and destroying all hopes of a vacation. Okay, you win. Yes, and travel in the United States. Great. Will you be using frequent fire miles? Yes, my number is 207-569-234. I think you said tomorrow is what Wednesday is for. <laughs> Right. Yes, Sam, that's exactly what I said, you pathetic slut. <laughs> Pain in the ass. Hi, this is Jim. Are you suffering from sudden bowel syndrome? Really, Jim? Really, are we going there? At Sandy Stool, we understand your suffering. You're suffering? I think you said San Francisco. Is that right? I don't even know what you mean. At Sandy Stool, we know how embarrassing this ailment is and can be. Irritable bowel syndrome. Will that be San Francisco International Airport, KSFO, Class B Airport, or Alpha International Airport, KOAK, Class C Airs for Minnesota San Jose International Airport, Class C Airport, the United States Airport in System Class. Be made on the basis to provide of maximum pilot flexibility with acceptable levels of risk, age on the appropriate than to pilot workers. Just Traffic density within that class airspace is medication can plug your jug. Separation. You know, you two belong together. I like you two crazy kids. I really do. I've been married to a man who reminds me of you, Jim. And Anne is the perfect match for you. You two belong together. You should be married. Jim, is that you? Anne? Good lord, I've become a damned robot matchmaker. <laughs> Jim, how have you been? Good. A little constipated, but otherwise good. <laughs> what time do you get off? Seven. Dinner and maybe drinks? Sure, I'll cook. No, you will not cook, and Let him take you to dinner. Jesus Christ. Hi, this is Larry. Do you feel lost? Feel the need to find a connection to God? Uh -huh. The Latter-day Church of Christ maintains the highest beliefs and teachings of Joseph Smith, Jr., viewing other sects in the Latter-day Saint movement as incorrect. The Latter-day Church of Christ has continued the practice of polygamy since inception. Wait, Wait a minute. minute! Who's Larry? What the hell? Welcome to Helsinki. Just to start with... <laughs> Done by King Gustav I in Sweden, 1550. Helsinki remained a tiny town, claimed by 
poverty, wars, and diseases. The plague of 1710 killed the greater part of the inhabitants of Helsinki. Ah!